What is up everybody, Golden Yogi here, and you are tuning into the channel, Golden Perspective. Once again, it is another week and we are getting into the Glass Nodes Insights, we on-chain analysis, week 38, 2021. Before we get any uh, further, I want to kindly invite you to subscribe down below if you have not already. Thank you to all those who have. It's been a long journey and I appreciate it. While you're down there, be sure to turn on the post notification so you know when the next video is coming up. And click and follow my library link down below. It's in the description right at the top. Uh, you're going to want to do this. Get started on library. Do yourself a favor. And also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video, what you think uh, you see in the analysis. I appreciate it. Now, let's get into it. The bull market Bitcoin buyers take modest profits this week, while exchange balances continue to decline and minor hash rate recovery re uh, continues. <clears throat> the Bitcoin market traded slightly higher this week, opening at a low of 43789 and trading up to an intraday high of 48730 Prices are forming a consolidation trading range after a volatile sell-off that started off the previous week, clearing $4 billion in excess leverage in one hour. The Bitcoin market finds itself amidst a macroeconomic landscape punctuated by growing uncertainties in Chinese credit markets and downside price action for traditional equities over the week. Despite this backdrop, Bitcoin price action and on-chain investor response appear relatively robust. This week, we will accept, uh, assess the continued dominance of coin outflows from exchanges, recovering minor hash rate, and the realization of modest profits with the market absorbing the sell side pressure. Modest realization of profits first. In on-chain analysis, we, we often build models upon the concept of realized value for a coin. That is the price at which the uh, UXTO containing some volume of BTC was created. Another way to consider this is the price at which a coin last moved, thus reflecting the on-chain cost basis for that coin. When a coin is spent at a later time, we can assess the difference between the original realized price and the current spent price to assess if the owner is realizing a profit or a loss. The aggregate value of all coins spent that day, uh, the that which provides an estimate on the volume of capital flowing into the market as every seller is by definition matched with a buyer. Since late July, the market has consistently realized net profits on the order on the order of around 1 billion per day as prices rallied from 31,000 to over 52,000. This suggests a relatively meaningful bid has supported the market on the way up. <clears throat> We can assess the spent output age bands to get a gauge on the cohort of investors who are spending coins in the current market. For coins older than six months, there have been a reasonable uptick in spending behavior throughout the August rally. However, that spending has cooled off through September. The proportion of spent outputs older than six months or more is uh, currently sits at around 4% dominance of all spent coins. The long-term holders, SOPR, provide another view on the spending behavior, and it has become increasingly volatile since early July. This indicator tracks the aggregate profit multiple realized by spent coins that were older than around 155 days, which is about five months. A long-term holder SOPR value of 2.0 means that on aggregate, long-time holders realized a 200% gain on their spent coins that day. We can also flip this observation around to estimate the aggregate cost basis for long-term holders who are spending coins by dividing the BTC price by the LTH SOPR value. LTH meaning long-term holder and spent output price bands. I think so. I forget what R is. Okay. In uh, an LTH SOPR value of 2.0 at BTC price of 36,000 gives an aggregate long-term holder cost basis of 36,000 divided by two, which is 18K cost basis. The increased volatility uh, in the LTR SOPR or LTH SOPR, I should say, indicator therefore demonstrates that LTHs are long-term holders are spending coins which were accumulated across an increasingly large range of cost basis. Lower bound 
LTHSOPR equaling 1.5 suggests coins spent have cost basis between 24,000 and 31,000. Upper bound LTHSOPR 2.0 suggests coins have a cost base between 18 and 23K. Overall, the range of aggregate cost basis for long term holders spent coins since May is therefore between 18,000 and 31,000. Note these are all prices from within the 20 to 21 bull run and suggest that perhaps Bitcoin long term investors are becoming more active traders taking profits off the table or perhaps using coin margin derivatives to hedge risk or speculate to a greater extent than was seen in the Q1, Q2. It may also reflect some uncertainty regarding current market structure as coins with higher cost basis closer to the current price are preferentially spent. To demonstrate this, the chart below shows the estimated long-term holder spent cost basis blue equals a seven day meridian median sorry which was calculated as price over long-term holder SOPR we can see that following the sell-off in May the aggregate cost basis for long-term holder spent coins rose from the stable baseline of 8,000 up to a new range of between 18 and 31,000 uh, bounds calculated above this reflects the long-term holder threshold 155 days encompassing coins above last cycle's 20,000 all-time high as well as more long-term holder spent spending during the volatility since May. <clears throat> Very interesting. So now we move into exchange balances which continue their outflows. While there is a spending behavior observable amongst the existing cohort of Bitcoin holders, it appears there is even more demand for coins accumulated from exchange balances. Overall, exchange balances have continued to decline this week, reaching a new multi-year low of 13% of circulating supply this week. This returns exchange balances to levels last seen in February of 2018. Keep in mind that prices were trading between 6,000 and 10,000 at that time. The accumulation of coins after March 2020 with prices trading from uh, up from 3.8K to over 64K in April, reflects the significant growth of capital inflows necessary to withdraw this relative coin volume. Supporting this observation is a deeply negative outflows exchange net flow reading this week, with current BTC outflows occurring at a rate of around 92,000 BTC per month. Similar to the exchange balance chart above, the market clearly shifted paradigm after March 2020 from a regime of net exchange inflow dominance to outflow dominance. <clears throat> we can also investigate the comparative performance of various groups of exchanges with similar balance flow characteristics. The first cohort of exchanges includes Bit Bitrex, Bitfinex, Kraken, Gemini, and Binance. These exchanges demonstrate a characteristic inflow and balance growth throughout most of 2020 and 2021, reflecting a rising dominance in coin holdings. Binance and Gemini are the primary recipients of this cohort. Since the sell-off in May, balances across this exchange group have plateaued and seen modest coin outflows. The second cohort of exchange balance characteristics are seen across Bitstamp, OKX, QOB, and Coinbase. For this cohort, outflows have persisted since March of 2020 and have actually accelerated in recent weeks. Overall, the net balance across exchanges has continued to decline as inflows observed in May are absorbed by the market and moved to investor wallets. Now to the miners. Bitcoin miner recovery and thermocap model. In a continued display of network resilience, Bitcoin hash rate has climbed again this week, reaching an approximately 137 exahash on a seven day uh, moving average basis. Given the total decline from the all time high represented about half, around half the hash power network, this approximately 52% recovery means that less than a quarter of the peak network hash remains offline.
Throughout 2020 and 2021, miners have demonstrated an increased trend of hodling in a uh, hodling a larger proportion of mined coins than in previous market cycles. After a significant miner distribution that occurred in January, February 2021, miners have accumulated 14,000 BTC in unspent Coinbase rewards over a six and a half month period. A moderate spend of around 1,360 BTC occurred in late August. However, the uptrend in miner unspent supply appears to be back in play. Lastly, we'll look at the thermocap, which is a fundamental valuation model for Bitcoin representing the aggregate security spend to date. It is calculated as the accumulative sum of all block rewards paid to miners as valued in USD at the time of block production. Another way to think about this metric is that it reflects the cumulative value offered by the Bitcoin protocol as a reward for miners. As such, it can also be considered an upper bound on the cost production for all circulating BTC. Assuming miners are rational profit mot uh, motivated actors, if 1 billion in total block reward is offered, we can expect miners to spend and compete with up to 1 billion worth of investment to earn that reward. The thermal cap is currently sitting at 30.3 billion, while Bitcoin market cap is at 900 billion. If we consider the thermal cap as the maximum aggregate cost of BTC production, Bitcoin is currently trading at a multiple of 29.7x above production cost. This is a 2,870% premium to lifetime aggregate miner input costs. We can take this concept one step further using the Workbench tool to construct Bitcoin's block subsidy model, originally developed by the newest addition to the Glassnode analyst team, Permabol Nino. Thank you. Here we calculate multiples on the thermo cap 2x, 6x, 32x, and 64x to reflect a growing monetary premium of the Bitcoin network above its aggregate cost production. We can spot some interesting behaviors. Each cycle adds the minimum monetary premium at the end of the bear markets. The raw thermocap 1x caught the 2011 bear bottom, 2x thermocap caught the 2015 market, 6x thermocap provided support at the 2018 and 19 in March 2020. Full cycle tops have generally peaked between 32x and 64x as the market gets overextended and exceeds the cost production by large multiples. At the current prices, the topping model of 64x thermal cap reflects a Bitcoin market cap of 1.94 trillion, which is 103,000 BTC price. Okay. Bitcoin is currently trading just slightly under the 32x thermal cap model, which is located at 969 billion. <clears throat> This is interesting. Come up, come up. 64 there. Long bear market. Okay, and then. Yeah, let's move on. Finally, we can observe this phenomena by taking the ratio between the market cap and the thermal cap. This oscillator reflects the changing magnitude of Bitcoin's monetary premium relative to its aggregate cost per, of production. We can see the aforementioned steadily rising floor value or minimum monetary premium reached at the lows of each market cycle. The peak of bullish market cycles can also be seen to top out at relatively consistent levels, exceeding 32x of the thermocat model. Wow, pretty cool. Um, I need to wrap my head around this thermocap model a little bit more. Uh, this, the reports haven't been talking about this in the last like three months that I've been reading it. So, um, but this is uh, this is very interesting. I definitely understand, you know, that uh, miners have overhead, and they look really profitable these days. I know there's a lot of other people going around saying these things, but. Um, you know, maybe saying otherwise that they, they aren't making as much, but it really does seem that they are. 
Anyway, I appreciate it. Again, subscribe down below if you haven't already. Turn on the post notifications so you know when the next video is coming up. Follow me on library. Leave a comment. My only request is please be civil in your discourse. Kindness and compassion are absolutely free. And if we all take a moment to filter our thoughts and responses through those, I think we can all see the world that we want to live in. All right, everybody. I love you. Take care. Peace.